There's a heat wave breaking records across the United States in the Midwest, but is there any relief on the way? And who's going to get those hot temperatures next? Also, severe weather is expected for the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes region, but how severe will it be? Are we talking tornadoes? Are we talking hail? Are we talking damaging winds? Flying trampoline? Last but not least, we also have some tropical activity right now in the Atlantic, but is any of that going to be a threat to the United States? Or is it just going to be a bunch of pissed off fish in traffic because none of them know how to drive in the rain? Those are the questions we're going to be answering on this forecast today. So let's get into it. Let's start off with the heat across the United States. And as you can see, it's going to be hot today in the Southern Plains and Upper Plains. Also going into the next day, unfortunately, it is also going to be hot out there with 107 degrees in the Nebraska and going into the Ohio Valley for Illinois. Then the next day we are hot again. It cools down a little bit in the Ohio Valley, but 107 again in Texas. And then the next day, unfortunately, got a lot of hot temperatures making it down into the Texas region. But as you can see, the Ohio Ohio Valley is looking a little bit cooler, so maybe some relief is on the way four days from now. Moving on to today's severe weather, we have a slight risk for Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and North Dakota with 2% of tornadoes in those regions. Also, talking about the hail risk, we also have a 15% in both of those regions for quarter-sized hail. Also, we have a 15% over in the Ohio Valley for damaging winds. The next day, we have a marginal risk over here in the Ohio Valley. Not expecting too much out of this day, but surprisingly, there is a 2% for tornadoes for Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania again and a five percent here for hail also moving into the damaging winds we have a five percent for 60 mile per hour winds and then on day three we have a marginal risk for minnesota wisconsin virginia all the way through kentucky all right now looking at the timing for the severe weather you can see that we do have some storms moving into pennsylvania by around 1 p.m and then that moves down to the south then we got some new storms firing near pennsylvania and michigan by around 1 a.m we're going to be watching out for maybe a little bit of a flood risk with this as it does appear like there's some training storms as that moves down into Virginia. But then by around 3 p.m., that rain and thunder really starts to clear out for the Northeast and with another round coming in the next day at around 10 p.m. there for Pennsylvania. Then shifting our attention over to Minnesota and by 7 a.m. on the 25th, you can see that some of those storms start to pop up again, moves into Wisconsin with a little bit on the backside there. And then looking down near Kentucky, Tennessee, we're starting to see some more convection there. I have to watch that area for severe weather as well. All right, now we're going to get into the tropical update and zooming in, you can see we do have a seven day 30% chance here of this becoming a tropical depression. Overall, chance is low though but if anything changes obviously we'll give you guys an update on the next video but if coming up here to the north we also have another storm over here with a seven day chance of 70 percent so an overall chance of high of this developing into a tropical storm right now not a threat to land not expecting this to be anything but a fish storm so unfortunately the fish are going to get pissed off as that traffic increases as there's going to be a lot of rainfall out there but uh, down here in the caribbean we have another storm tropical storm franklin this one's already formed 40 mile per hour winds moving off to the north main threat with this is not really going to be those damaging winds although the infrastructure out here in this uh, region in la hispaniola is not really strong there are some problems uh, going to be developing here shortly with about 10 to 20 inches of rainfall expected in the mountain regions up here so definitely uh, gotta watch out for that in la hispaniola and then as this moves off to the north we're expecting this to eventually become a category one hurricane with 75 mile per hour winds and 90 mile per hour wind gusts and that's going to move off to the north northwest uh, up here and then by the 28th we're expecting this to be a category two with 105 mile per hour winds but for the most part this is not going to be an impact to really anybody other than maybe bermuda so we're gonna have to watch the models for bermuda but for the United States, we're not expecting any impacts. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you appreciated this forecast. And I will see you guys on the next video.